Let's go. Smooch and kick. folks I think this is the time I break the news the news you have all been not asking for but will receive I bought a horse and I don't know anything about horses but I bought one bought a nice horse very very pretty horse very beautiful broke horse and I'm so excited about it so let's talk about why I got a horse and the journey to the horse uh, when I was in junior high or beginning of high school, I really wanted a horse so bad. And my dad was like absolutely hell-bent against it. So I even had a family member approach me and say, hey, like maybe you should consider getting something else. I know your dad really does not want you to get this. And so I was discouraged away from getting a horse then. And then I brought it up again and there was a pageant like a Miss America or Miss Junior or something. I don't even know what it was called. I wanted to do it and I wanted a horse. And my dad's like, well, you can go to the pageant if you don't get a horse. And I was like, okay, didn't get a horse, went to the pageant. Fast forward again, uh, my 2015 era, I came back, I took horse riding lessons because I wanted a horse. And then the lessons weren't really one-on-one. -on -one. I didn't have a horse to actually go home and work with. It wasn't really getting me where I wanted to go, so I stopped taking them, kind of dropped it. My boyfriend is from Kansas. I asked to go riding with him one day. He said no. I asked for a pool, because that's like a thing that I enjoy as well as water activities, and he said no. And then I asked to go riding again. He's like, I'd rather buy you the pool than go horseback riding. So I didn't get a pool or to go horseback riding and then just kind of dropped it. So then I was back in Kansas again and my boyfriend's mom really loves horses. She's got a lot of them. And I had asked my boyfriend if I could ride a horse. He's like, I'll saddle the horse up for you, but I'm not going to go ride with you. I was like, okay. So I went and rode by myself and then that started it. So that was literally about a month ago, maybe two now. And I realized that I could do this and that... I'm so tired of people scaring me out of getting a horse or even wanting a horse or talking me down from it. And so, uh, yeah, I bought a horse. 30's the new, the new era. We're just gonna do some stuff in this era. I don't know. So, I bought a horse. And here we are, me and Kat. I told you basically all of the things that had happened prior to me getting the horse. So then, picking the horse, this is crucial. My friend Jordan, who runs Adrian Farms, I've talked about them a lot, where I buy my replacement heifers. Uh, he runs horses every day, so he's very experienced in this department. So I called and I said, hey, I want a horse. Can you help me with this? And so his family's from where I'm at and I have a total support system, so I'm not going to die. And everyone has been so grateful and helpful and just amazing to me. So that's basically what started this. And so I'm just gonna vlog all of it and share my journey.
so we're gonna be raw with this. Uh, I just learned how to do this knot like one or two times before this. So I've learned that with the horses, there's like a bazillion different knots. And so I was having a moment of, I can't remember what I'm doing. And Kat is like, can you figure this out, please? So just patience here while I try to remember how to do the knot that I need to be doing for this. So I'm just getting some brushes and I'm going to brush her out before I saddle her. I realize that there are a hundred different ways to do this. I've seen people not brush them out. I've seen people only use the red brush that's in my left hand to brush them out. I don't know. I wanted to do this because this is what I wanted to do. I have no actual rhyme or reason. And so yeah, that's what I did. So this is another thing that I've realized there's a hundred different ways to do it. I've seen people put the blanket on first and then the pad. I've seen people put the pad with no blanket. I don't really know what's right or wrong, honestly. If you know the answer, comment below. But I'm literally just doing what I had been shown specifically for this horse. So that's what I'm doing. So this is the first time I'm doing this process by myself without anybody to double check my work. So it took me a little longer to do this process as I was unsure of my work and I didn't want to do anything incorrectly. So I was taking my time really trying to figure out what's the best place and be patient with the process.
So here I am with the bridle. I'm also new at putting the bit in and I'm going to try my best to not touch your teeth with the bit. And I have learned that you need to put the reins on Cat so that in the event that she were to walk away, I would still have control. There's so many common sense things that you would think you would not forget, but really there's just a lot to retain. So it was definitely a learning process. Uh, the reins were twisted, so then that was making it harder for me to put the bit in. And so I'm just trying to take my time and put the bit in correctly. All a process. So when I get on her, she does this little walk off and I don't love that. So I'm trying to have that not be a thing. Mm -hmm. And my research on the internet says that if I flex her neck before we actually take off, that that will get her in a habit of realizing that we're actually not going to walk off and that her neck will get flexed before we start any activity. So learning new process. Oh. Oh. funny because I'm editing this video now and I'm able to reflect back on this content of when I was first starting and I'm already noticing that the reins weren't even. I had that pointed out to me and that I should turn her head towards me when I go to get on her. So I've already learned quite a bit from when I first started this, which is really not that many rides ago, but it's fun that I'm able to share the content with you guys as my journey progresses. You can see the change. So this is actually my first solo ride with the content with me in the Seattle sweatshirt. And so I had some personal goals that on this ride I was going to gallop, which this would be the second time I've ever done that, ever. And so I wanted to record myself so that I could have criticism to get better and fix the errors that I have.
Here I am with personal preference. I am brushing her out after I got done riding her, which once again, I've seen people not brush them. I've seen people only brush them with the red brush that's in my left hand. I don't know what's right or wrong, but this is what I'm doing. I just feel better as a horse mom to really give her a brush down. And that was our ride. What do you think, cat? Did it good? You do good? Huh? Where so are you on? You want to tell them hello? And tell them how you're such a good pony? Cat. She's like, put me back in my pit. So I didn't realize that I was going to be using this content for YouTube. I really honestly was just kind of recording myself for my own personal learning experience, but I've realized that, you know, maybe there's somebody else in the world who's also struggling and wanting or learning and could find what I have useful. So. I'm like, well, let's just throw it out there on the internet. So I had no idea that Kat was uncomfortable at this point. I just thought that she was being temperamental and sassy with me as she, like, turns around and tries to attempt to somewhat nip at me where there's a couple times here she actually did. And I didn't understand that it was because she was sore. It wasn't computing because I've never done this before. So it's all a learning experience. I wouldn't have done this if I knew that this was the reason why, but I didn't and we learned from that. So I'm just proceeding on like I normally would to go ride and she's just being what appeared to me as grumpy.
So I had been having issues with her putting her head up every time I went to go put the bridle on. So I saw on YouTube that someone was using pressure with your thumb and your index finger on the back of her head. And then every time that she would give, you would release pressure. And so I was implementing this when I was trying to put the bridle on. And it appeared to be working until kind of the end she was getting frustrated with me as I'm not getting it completely in quickly like a professional would. But we did get it done and we're progressing. This mount was actually really difficult for me. She was moving around. I was trying to implement having my reins even and having her head turned towards me, but she was uncomfortable, which I now know, but I, I was not computing what was going on. And then she got distracted and I didn't love that because I wanted her to pay attention to me as I was going to get on her and I realized that she was not paying attention to me. So I was trying to get her attention so that we could do this in a safe manner.
Hi, so if you're following along on my horse journey, thank you for participating. I'm new. We're learning together, everyone. So this morning, I went to go ride Cat. <coughs> Let's back up. Yesterday, I went and hung out with Cat, and I was petting the side of her, and she nipped me, like she bit me, and I was like, wow, I've never been bit by a horse before. I didn't know that that was like, she was a, she would do that kind of thing. So I thought it was odd because I hadn't had that happen and she's always just been really friendly with me. So, but I was petting her side. So then I'm like, maybe she's got a sore back. Maybe I touched something, I wasn't sure. So I'm touching her back, nothing happens. Like just maybe thought I was an attitude. She's still young, she's only four, going to be five in April. So brushed it off. This morning, as you can see in my vertical content, because I didn't realize that I was gonna start this vlog journey with you guys, and here I am, I'm just gonna share and be open with all this stuff that I'm learning, and maybe it'll help somebody else who's getting into this and like new, but uh, there's a sore from her cinch, and when I went to go saddle her up this morning, she was not participating very well. As you can see, she's like turning her head at me, and she moved when I was trying to get on her and I've never had her do that before. I thought it was very weird, like wasn't sure, but I'm still new so I don't know what to look for even if I am looking for something. So I continued to ride her, ride her. We did really great, had a good time. I couldn't even tell that she was in pain. Like we fell into a gopher hole and she got up, it was fine. And so then I thought maybe she was limping because of that. I was like, maybe she's a little sore and we fell into that hole. Like I was looking at her legs and it was fine. Didn't see anything. I'm like, we'll just keep riding. We get back to the yard. I take her saddle off and then I see the sore. So I'm getting a new cinch. We're letting her rest. I sprayed Vectrin. I'm not entirely sure how I say that. I'll have to like insert that because I didn't really, it's basically like to heal and keep infection out. And I put some fly spray on her. And so I just got back tonight from Harvest so that I could do that. And my friend's mom works at the vet clinic. So she was able to hook me up with the stuff and bring it home for me so that I could get it. And yeah, so that's kind of what happened. And I've, I'm learning, I'm learning so much. <laughs> it will just come with time. I understand that, but I wish I could just like put all the knowledge in my brain so I had it already. But yeah, so I'm not gonna ride her for a couple days for a while, let it scab over, see how she does. But I feel so bad. <laughs> Like, I did not mean for that to happen. And had I known she was in pain, I wouldn't have even rode her, but I didn't know. Like, I couldn't tell if she was just being a brat or if that was normal. So we're learning, but new cinch is on the way. All right, stay tuned for the next episode. I might be excessive, but I saw on the internet that there's some boredom busters. And so you put carrots in a milk carton and punch holes in it and hang it from a tree. And then you get apples and you put it in their water tank and they're like going to bob for the apple. So I don't know which kind of apple she likes or if she even likes carrots. So I got one of each kind, red apple, yellow apple and a green apple. So we'll see if she likes it. And we're going to spray that medicine on her wound again today. So today is day two and she's so cute. I think she's having a good time. She's waiting for me. Morning, how are you? like that she's like do you have treats in your hands could you please maybe give me that thanks <laughs> you're funny and so now we'll see which apple goes away thanks. excuse me thank you okay step back Thank you. There you go. So we'll see if any carrots disappear from this boredom buster and if any apples disappear. Okay, cat. I love you. Have a good day. I got to go to work now. <laughs> 